The trial is still early on. At this point, we've, uh, we've got about eight patients on the study, all of whom have reached an accessible time point. Almost every patient that has entered this study, um, because of the requirement for visceral disease, if you look at the ASCO abstracts this year in the, in the oral sessions, Susan Hollaby will present a, an abstract focusing on the impact of visceral disease in outcomes in prostate cancer. This, uh, her study shows, or her review of existing studies will show that the presence of visceral metastases is a, is a poor prognosticator for men with prostate cancer. This has been well known in the field, but the degree of impact Dr. Hollaby will actually quantify for, for, those, uh, for those of us in, in academia and otherwise. This study focuses on that poor risk population. And at this point, almost every patient, again, all but uh, so seven out of eight patients that have gone on this trial have experienced prolonged disease stability and one of our patients who has a very aggressive form of prostate cancer, he doesn't make PSA which is the test most men follow and had widespread liver metastases. Very, very surprisingly within, within uh, two weeks he began to notice improvement in his symptoms and at our first images in 12 weeks his liver disease actually began to regress quickly. His bone scan cleared up. I mean, this is the bone scan effect was known, but the effect on liver metastases, again, a poor prognosticator in, uh, in prostate cancer, the fact that we really impact that with this targeted agent is very, very exciting. And what's really important is this patient understanding his situation and the nature of the trial did provide us with molecular samples that we will be able to, uh, that we will be able to send in the laboratory and then match his liver biopsies to the blood work we've collected. So as you mentioned from the, from the start, this study will collect blood for circulating tumor cells, an area of great interest, as well as a new entity called large oncosomes. These are non-cellular packets that contain biological information that Dr. Dolores DeVizio, a member of our research team at Cedars, has actually identified and begun to, as in the first in the world to actually begin to classify. The circulating tumor cells that we'll study, we won't just be counting them. A lot of folks in, in oncology are aware of the technologies that are available to count these cells. We can actually preserve live cells and then study them using uh, various next generation techniques, whole genome sequencing, RNA-seq, and even proteo complex proteomic characterizations to understand the molecular content. We think that by using this type of test, we may be able one day to eliminate the need for a needle biopsy of a liver, prostate gland, or a lung lesion for a man with prostate cancer. Actually, even more importantly, since this is a disease that spreads to the bone, we might be able to spare men bone biopsies, which someone proposed. Uh, and I, I understand the rationale for it in 2014, but I know a lot of guys that would rather not have a bone biopsy in order to understand how their disease is doing.